Yes. Hello, our autumnal rascals. My name is Sirius Black, and this is. <laughs> you must look good. You are so unsure. Like, am I? I, mean, I, just, was... I don't feel comfortable announcing it. I know. It feels bizarre. Oh. But it's such a good name. I would hope that everyone at this point would know my name. Well, there might be people here who don't know your name and should know your name. And now they know your name is... Rumours leap it. <laughs> you said <laughs> like it's such a curse. Along with other curses. <laughs> So, hello, 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 one and all, um, and welcome to this cosy, autumnal, fun video. There is a great and grandiose and wondrous task which we have to burden upon you today, um, and we will not be ending this live stream until we have our answers to that enigmatic question, which I'm not even going to hint at vaguely yet. It could take all night. It could. <laughs> It could, just like James does sometimes. <laughs> what? I don't know from personal experience, I've just heard ah. through the grape of mine, um, <laughs> who comes in the form of Lily. <laughs> yeah. Cool night. Mm. Better than being too quick, though. Is it? Uh, anyway, that's not that's not all time <laughs> <enough>. good, good <laughs> fun. <laughs> so... We are here to 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 discuss some of the the cozy facts of this summer year. Obviously, the season is changing. Leaves do fall down good. Um, fast. <laughs> good leaves fall fast. <laughs> if you're in England like we are, then it is autumn after the god autonomous or something shit like that. Uh, and if you're in America, it's leaves fall down, so fall. Um, <laughs> So we have the cozy <laughs> fire going. We did oh. pick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, after many attempts, um, casting incendio at that uh, enormous burning the house down. Well, it was serious as many attempts at casting incendio, and then I cast it, and the fire is now going. So, so never play. It was a joint effort, mm -hmm. uh, and we picked we picked some pumpkins just for today. Mm -hmm. um, We've got four pumpkins representing each of us. So obviously Pete's the tiny one. <laughs> oh yeah. Shall I bring them over? Oh yeah. yeah. So we can we can introduce you to the Marauder pumpkins. Oh no! Remus, how many pumpkins can one man carry? <laughs> if you've ever wondered how many pumpkins Remus Lupin can carry, like how how much wood can a wood chuck? Chuck chuck the wood, wood chuck, 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 chuck wood. wood. Now you know. <laughs> That's Pete. Cute, adorable. The first pumpkin I picked. Slightly mouldy. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Huh. No. Oh. That's obviously you. Right. Yeah. It, it does actually look quite battered. <laughs> it does. It looks quite battered and damaged. It's misshapen. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a big old scar at the back. Here. Yeah. So that's it's, me. It's no, but it's still cute, Thank and you. I would still pick it and take it home with me. Thank you. So it's the second one we picked. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this was the next one we picked. Oh, that, so that's James. Mm -hmm. Weighty. Weighty, big, impressive. The biggest pumpkin of the lot. Yeah, you would, you would be, you would look at it and you'd feel intimidated mm -hmm. by the hefty size of such an impressive veg. Uh, okay. And there's his memes. <laughs> perfectly sized, perfectly proportioned. But if you open up on the inside, it's. Shaken up, deteriorating, and, and a little bit messed up. You can hear a sort of a scream coming from the inside of it. Oh yeah, that sounds like all my self-doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the Marauders are pumpkins. Are you sure? Let me help you. I'll carry, I'll carry James. I don't trust you with the Potter pumpkin. <laughs> oh, don't go in the fire now. King Potter of the Pumpkin Patch. Oh, and we're back. So, what is everyone's favourite thing about autumn? That's what I was going to say. Um, stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite thing about autumn? 
fact that wearing jumpers is more acceptable. Oh yeah, your your wardrobe waits all year for autumn. It does, it really does. <laughs> You're like, my time has finally <laughs> come. <laughs> Halloween pumpkin spice coffee colors, colors, colors of the jumpers, leaves, hot chocolate. Oh my gosh! Halloween, 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 <laughs> Halloween, Halloween. Sweat weather, yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Autumn sunsets, I agree. Oh yeah. The weather, yes. Mm hmm. Gosh, oh my gosh. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> All the candles. <laughs> pumpkin spices, delicious foods. Crunchy leaves. Cold skies. I love missing crunchy leaves. Hot chocolate. Mm hmm. Clothes as though you don't wear them all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting around the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Halloween colours. Oh, yeah. Room is sleeping aesthetic. <laughs> My birthday. Happy birthday, Dola. Oh, happy uh, birthday. Staying inside reading, yes. Do you know, it's almost like there's four marauders, there's four seasons, and you are definitely the autumn marauder. It's winter, then. I think James is summer. Mm. I think Pete is spring. I think she winter. I think I'm king of winter, yeah. Because mm. I love Christmas, so <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of that. <laughs> Wait till the Christmas live stream. It's true. Oh. <laughs> gonna come full Santa Claus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once I shave Dumbledore, I'm gonna. You're have going to steal Dumbledore's beard. The best Santa. <laughs> Why has Double D never dressed up as Santa? Actually, I've never seen Dumbledore and Santa in the same room. It's true, neither have I. Send him an owl. And ask. Dear Dumbledore, at the next order meeting when he's like, any questions? I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> and and you'll see that usual look when I raise my hand say, Moi has a question mm -hmm. of... Oh, God. He's like ignoring you now. He would never. How could you? <laughs> He will never ignore me. <laughs> We're very excited because the order are putting on a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be good fun. Snape can just come as himself. Yeah, he doesn't even have to dress up. No, exactly. Exactly. So he comes out. Dumbledore can come as Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. I'll come as. Oh, we'll fill in that out, won't we? <laughs> so, so we, this year we will not be doing pumpkin carving. We certainly will not be doing pumpkin carving after the horrors that have transpired previously. I still have a nightmare. No, I know you do. You wake up screaming about pumpkins. <laughs> it's just someone. <laughs> someone told me there's natural phobia. Is there's a name of a natural phobia which mm. apparently I have. Which I have only just come to realise that I do have that phobia, but I can't remember the name of it now. You're scared of the inside of pumpkin. Basically. Yeah, I just don't like the feel of it. If anyone, if anyone knows what that's called, please do let us know because it's it's vile. Does anyone else agree and say that the smell of the innards of pumpkins and the feel of it and it, it's unnatural and it's not nice? <laughs> the taste of good. They do taste good. They do taste good. They do make good pumpkin pasties. And you make very good pumpkin pasties, which we hope to um, um, capture mm -hmm. Mr. Lupin making some pumpkin pasties, which he can then uh, share the recipe with you. There it is! There it is! Curicurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricurricur
Thank you, Issa. Uh... <laughs> what? Why, Issa? Why? <laughs> Ah, what? Issa. Oh. oh. Issa, thank you. We will be able to buy 200 pumpkins, but if not, five. So, so many pumpkins. So many pumpkins with that. <laughs> you're, you're putting this towards a good deal, but none of those pumpkins will be opened. I will simply doodle on them to, uh, to, to, to do that, to do that. Or I'll use my wand. I can my, carve them. Not my hands. Or make them into pumpkin pasties. Yeah, just do as, do as they deserve and, and, <laughs> And uh, you know, <laughs> blend them up so that I can consume them. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. I could do a pumpkin pasty cooking. Yeah, and I think you definitely should. Ah, you see, ah, Dovely, you have asked a question. Which is the is the theme to this? And I think where where what are we going to be for Halloween? Well, it depends on who we want to ask this. Because do we want to ask you now? Or do we want to delay? It's still here. I feel like there's going to be a, a lot of responses. Because you're a tease. Issa! No, uh, we don't. Issa. All the liquid badges. <laughs> Why do we need... Why do we need... Why are we taking the Huff and Puffs and liquidising them? <laughs> Why did we never do that at school? <laughs> Why did we never? Be, that would be murder. Serious? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Fair point. That well, would be murder. Well... Depends. I read a lot into murder law. Um, I've read several books on murder law and what the vibing law boundaries are on it. Um, it was always just in case I needed to, you know, shank a bitch or two. A Hufflepuff or no, namely my mother or regulars, oh, right. you know. But it's like <laughs> I, I did I did have to research this just in case there ever came a day that one had to just dispatch someone. Um, but not that I will, obviously. I suppose you found a lot of books about that in your library at home. Oh yeah, the, the topics in my personal, the, the Black Family Library were quite, quite eye-opening. Probably went um, a bit further than liquidising. Yeah, you know the forbidden section at Hogwarts Library made that look like the PG section, if you come to the Black Family Library. <laughs> I will not write it in my diary. Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be licked up in any half puffs. Well, am I? Pete! <laughs> Peter! £10 a month is pretty reasonable in this... In this... Yeah, in this economy. In this day and age, yeah. Peter's shed is still being... Constructed. Well, no, it's constructed. It's just I was going to say it's being cleaned, but that's quite... Um, that's a lie. It's... um. Full of spiders, really. Full of spiders. Um, full of boxes as well, Pete. So you will have to be a rat if you want to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a rat in there the other day, so you can hang out to her. Not just in there. Not just in there. The rat did. The rat did run across me directly. Ran over me. For a moment, we thought it was Pete. We did. For just a moment, we were like, "Oh, Pete's here!" And then we realised it wasn't Pete, so we went and got the soap mm. real fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at least Peter will have friends. Yeah. So um, now, obviously, Halloween is also good for telling mm -hmm. ghost stories. Mm -hmm. Oddly, the best person to tell ghost stories is actually Remus. Um, you are, and Pete. Pete is quite terrifying at some of the stuff he knows. Peter is scary. I think Peter yeah. wins. You have the you have the best structure and narrative, and you give a sort of cathartic release at the end. Yeah, but, sound effects. Yeah, but Pete is quite harrowing whenever he tells ghost stories. Um, you never really quite know where it's going to go. No, and then it's sort and even of, when it ends, it sort of lingers. And then you know when you stood up, and we sort of just say to him, "Do you want to sit down now, Pete? You know, do you want to sit back down?" I think a lot of the times we've actually cut him off. We haven't let him finish. Because it's just nothing against him. We just were terrified. It's just questionable as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of the places he goes to. Be Merlin and Arthur for Halloween. That's really good. Who would be Merlin? Oh, Remus yeah. or Sirius? I think I'd be Arthur. I mean, 
Yeah, you could be. Yeah, I mean, you've got the more, you've got the blonde hair. Yeah, that's what, that's why I hair thought. Hair for it. So... Sirius would be Arthur. Remus. Oh, okay. Sirius is Merlin. Remus is Merlin. I would like to be David Bowie for Halloween. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty good. But <sighs> Crystal. I wonder if I can apparate to America. Can we? Can we block Crystal? No, I'm chat? just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take flu powder right over there and kick <laughs> her ass. Quite honestly, <laughs> Crystal. Uh, we will make sure, solemnly swear, that when uh, when Pete is round our pad, yeah, the pad foot pad, <laughs> <laughs> next, that we will buy him. So much pizza. <laughs> so much bread. So much bread. <laughs> we were in previous living conditions in the ch- in the in the shed. Well, hang on. What are we talking there? Like, I know that's what Crystal said. No, it's to give him therapy. Apparently, oh in therapy. The oh, okay. Yeah. So we don't have to improve the condition. He doesn't need therapy when he's got mates <laughs> like us. True. <laughs> Do you know? I need does... therapy. Yeah, I was about to say. Do you know? Does need therapy. My mother. Um. Yeah, probably your brother as well. Probably the, probably me as well, really. <laughs> he must not be named also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Do you think if we gave him some therapy, he might just stop some this? CBT. I mean, uh, <laughs> some CBT. Or, or some ECT, C- if what, we really want to just... <laughs> Bless the boat out. I'm not being funny. I want to live till next Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I don't want this to be my last Halloween. So. <laughs> like, because I'm still looking forward to all the, the stuff that we can dress Harry up in. Uh, pumpkin. I like the baby pumpkin uh, questions I've been seeing. Potter pumpkin. Mm. Potter pumpkin. About the same size as your mug. He's way well, slightly bigger than that now. <laughs> slightly bigger. Barely. I, have you, I haven't held him yet, have you? All right, privileges. I still haven't. Maybe if we pat him out as a pumpkin, I can hold him. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, your fire's going out. <laughs> Go, Fire Lord, Dragon Breath. Bear, bear with us one moment. Oh, yeah, that's sorry, just hit it, that works. Remus's answer to everything, just hit it. <laughs> And it will do something or other. Oh my god, it's actually working. I feel really embarrassed now. It's actually worked. Careful with your fingers, please. No burny bits. We no longer have Madame Pomfrey in our lives. <laughs> no, but you have me. I don't... What are you... <gasps> you should go as a nurse for Halloween! <laughs> Sexy nurse. Sexy nurse! Sexy nurse. Yes? I'm taking your silence as a yes. You're just trying to close it. See, that's a good little fire. Hot. That's what fire usually is, Remus. <laughs> it just singed my eyebrow hairs when I opened it. Oh, yeah, they are looking mm. a little bit wonky. Thank you. That's all right. The rest of you is too, so. But that's why I love you. <laughs> Thank you. But, but autumn time is here. Mm-hmm. The whole season is changing. The whole world is changing. And it's a, it is one of the most beautiful times mm-hmm. of the year as well. Yeah. It's because it's a time for change and that's what nature is telling us it's saying grab life by the balls and make changes because everything (laughs) dies um Um. (laughs) no it's not quite as positive memento uh, mori (laughs) i would suppose that everything leads into regeneration which is spring things have to come to an end to get better through the darker times which are winter (laughs) And then on the other side, you're going to come out blossoming, fruitful. Like springtime Pete. Springtime for Peter. <laughs> Pettigrew. 
winter for snivel of snake. Springtime for Peter of <laughs> I'm really hot and I don't know if that's the fire. You or are really hot. Oh, Thank you, <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, when's the... It's not that I'm asking for anyone in particular, I'm asking for my own reasons. When is the full moon this month? Does anyone know off the top of their heads? Because I'm just asking for a friend. You're my boyfriend. You're not a friend. Just in case. Get that notion out of your head. God, it's this sub. The ninth. Oh, that's quite soon. It's two weeks away. That's too soon. It's only been two weeks since the last one. It was like it was yesterday. It does, is, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> oh. it does, actually. I'm exhausted. Mm. <laughs> you are. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How about your friend? My friend, why would my friend be affected by some lunar cycles? I don't know. Ha. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Don't think about <laughs> it too much. <laughs> mm. Should we pop the question? Let's pop the question. All right. So I have already procured my costume. For Don't roll your eyes. It is the most glorious <laughs> costume I've ever come up with. And I'm very chuffed with myself. Thank you. So. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased with what I've come up with. However, Mr. Lupin finds himself completely at a loss as to what he is going to wear. So we thought, what better than to pop on board here and ask all the autumn rascals what they think Mr. Mooney should be dressing up as a this Halloween. What, how should he adorn his a broken body? A wolf. A wolf. That's a lot of bread. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> Edward Cullen, a, a wolf, wolf, a wolf, sexy wolf, nurse, sexy uh, nurse, a wolf, Dumbledore, Dumbledore Snape, the moon, the moon, the moon, <laughs> a, were, a werewolf, hot, ah, priest. hot priest, a werewolf, oh, the chef from Ratatouille, <laughs> wolf, the moon, Se Arthur, second for sexy, sexy nurse. nurse, hot priest, chocolate bar, vampire, oh, teacher, wolf, teacher, sexy, that's quite scary, <laughs> sexy nurse, vampire, traffic cone, oh, I like that one. James's twin. A traffic James. cone. Joseph James. <laughs> Penguin. Snape. Wand. A wand. Ha just a wand. Just, just a wand. Just a stick. <laughs> Elf. A wolf. Sirius Black. Snape. <gasps> Pumpkin. Black Penguin. Girl. Sirius's mum. <laughs> a silver balloon. A dragon. Warburger. Yeah. Uh, lots of. Willy Wonka. Lots Hot of priest. The... Hot priest. House elf. Lots of people are voting for the mega beast. They are. Godric Gryffindor. <gasps> Regulus. A sheep. <laughs> I like a sheep. <laughs> Warburger. Yeah. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Corn. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> she made myself completely black. <laughs> Woodcutter. <Corn. laughs> the Whomping Willow. <gasps> Corn. Please come as the Whomping Willow. It'd be complimentary <laughs> to mine. It'll be complimentary to mine, yeah, and then we'll look like a be. couple because then we'll be like a couple yeah. of costume. Potentially. A tree, one ping willow. Just a tree, not the one ping willow, just a, a tree. A giant squid. Traffic cone. Serious wolf. Doctor Who. The shrieking shack. I don't think I can quite just pull the off the entire shrieking shack as a costume. <laughs> just get a caramel box somewhere. <laughs> Heaves. Because then you'll be in the Shrieking Shack. <gasps> oh my good golly Merlin above. I... <laughs> what sexy wolf nurse. James. James. Freddie Mercury. fat lady. The bloody a, baron. A door. A bean. A rock. <laughs> Pirate. Hagrid. A lot of it's your mother here. A bean again. Wolf. Yeah, lo lots of people Harry. are saying the mega beast. Oh, a lot of people are saying Wahlberger, well, aren't they? In all truth, it would be the bloody scariest thing you could possibly come as, that, apart from my cousin. 
That is actually the only one we've discussed doing. Yeah. Issa. Issa's is gonna get blocked. <laughs> I might actually. Can you like forcibly delete someone? Can you curse someone through the internet? Let me try it. We should. Uh, we should try and look into that. Look. McGonagall. Dress up as Issa. What if I dressed up as McGonagall? No, I might. I might get carried away then if you dress up as McGonagall. <laughs> Your cousin Bellatrix. <laughs> Who would do that? Quite Who well. would do that? I mean, oh, mm. no. Ugh. Well, what? What is what is what is Issa's point of view on this? What is what is their their uh, their, their vote in this? It's a sheep again. <laughs> it's a sheep. Bom 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 bom. Chocolate. A chair. A chair. A baby. A box. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these, this plethora of Lame ideas battle. that you have coming your way. There you were, and you didn't have a single one, and now you've got <laughs> wonderful choices like a box. <laughs> a chair. A moth. A moth. <laughs> a book. A, do <laughs> a door. And now are you just looking at random objects in your room and, and typing these? Because it seems that way. A heterosexual person. Hot priest. A bright. A, a heterosexual person. How? Oh. <laughs> you just dress up as James. Mm. Mandrake. A jumper. I have appreciated, I have been thinking about that, how we do have all the sexualities sort of, sort of covered in our little group. Because obviously, obviously, you know, you're into um, certain things. Hmm? What? You've scared me now. What is on my face? Is it a spider? It's no. Oh, no. It's just an eyelash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you really worried me then. You rattled me <laughs> to the I love spiders that we've been seeing. Bad. <clears throat> bad. Bad, bad. A disappointment. A spider. unicorn. Mr. Filch. <laughs> Well, now you have a whole load of options to pick from. Way more. No, yeah. Right? Now I'm starting to second guess if I should be coming what I want to come as, because there are some, some absolutely stunning options there. A lot of sexy oh, nurses and sexy priests. My brain just did sound really bad. I saw Frank and I went, who's Frank? Oh. <laughs> Frank Longbottom. Yeah. He's just one of those people... <laughs> Blends into the background a bit. Yeah, you know, if the wallpaper is a little bit loud, it sort of drowns him out because it's better and more interesting. I like Frank. When have you ever had a conversation with Frank Longbottom? At least three times a week. And what does Frank Longbottom talk about? Talk about a lot. Alice mainly. His <gasps> son. <sighs> plants. He likes plants. I like Alice. Alice is wildly fun. And she's got great... What's wrong with Frank? Frank Reed. Personality to her wow, as well. Okay. Uh, Frank... <laughs> Frank reads a lot. Oh, he's oh also very... you both read. That's why. He's very good at... What? Magic. Oh, right. <laughs> Better than you. Um... <laughs> you can take your hand off my crotch for that statement. <laughs> Such a scathing <laughs> remark. These blistering insults. I will not suffer any longer. Thank you. I, but he deserves it. It's, it's not an he insult if it's the it. truth, Remus. Hot priest. I like that we're carrying Henry on Yates. and they're just... They're, who? who? <gasps> Henry VIII, he was a wizard. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I thought at one point Henry VIII was a Weasley. Because he was ginger. Yeah. I assumed <laughs> that Arthur got his bloodline from Henry VIII. They could have. Mm -hmm. Have you ever asked? Henry Weasley. No, never asked. Never asked. Um, so maybe we should ask. <laughs> hmm. 
Anyway, we've been having our own conversation while uh, yeah. <laughs> everyone's been going off here. <laughs> yes, but, uh, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the uh, suggestions, which I'm sure dear Rumi will, will take yeah, on board. Yeah, take on board and consider. Are you, are you clocking all of those, Mr Lupin? Yeah, I are, think so. Are you going to tell me in advance, or are you just going to rock something out? I might just rock something out and surprise you for once. You always surprise me. Okay. <laughs> I had the dignity and decency to tell you what I was coming as. You did? Mm-hmm. Which actually makes a change for you. <gasps> Little Red Riding Hood, and then I can come as the Big Bad Wolf. Or you can come as the Big Bad Wolf, no. and I can come as Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> change of plan, change of plan, no. change of plan. No. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Well, Hot Priest. Hot Priest is currently winning. Hot Priest is winning. Or Nurse. Or your mother. And so it's between Hot, hot Priest, priest hot sexy nurse, nurse. Sexiness, my mother. Mm -hmm. If you come as sexy, my mother, there may be a discussion oh. had. No, which <laughs> it won't be a positive discussion that is had between us. <laughs> Vampire is also winning. Oh yeah, yeah, that could be quite good as well, really, couldn't it? The night of blood, fur, and screams is incorrect. Nothing actually happened. You didn't go through it like some of us did. Nobody went through yes, it. Yes, we did. Abby, take your dirty money. Oh, Abby procures that cash in the most filthy and heinous ways. And uh... if you go to Hogsmeade, outside Honeydukes, there's a little alleyway. Go down there, you find Abby. She's selling all sorts of sweets that don't contain sweets. Filthy, heinous, heretical crimes that Abby does commit. Mm -hmm. Laced chocolate. The rogue of Hogsmeade. Mm -hmm. A drag, a drag queen. Drag queen. Yeah. What would what would my drag name be? <gasps> o M M. <laughs> What would our drag queens be? <laughs> what would Sirius's drag queens be? And what would I, my drag queens be? I love be? that we did this before with James and Peter, and I can't remember what we came up with, but I also remember uh, we put it in a generator or something, mm. and we came up with them. But, but I also love how this was advertised so falsely as cozy autumnal vibes, <laughs> and here we are like, what are filthy drag names? <laughs> Lycanthropy. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Brown chocolate, okay. <laughs> stargaze. I like stargaze. <laughs> Peter's just yellow bread. Your family disappointment. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fine because, like, I don't mind disappointing my mother. <laughs> so I, it would be, it's almost like I said, it's like regular shouldn't be proud of making, of, be, of her being proud of him. Like, that's not a good, that's not a boast for, for Wolf Burger Face to be like, I'm proud of you. That's not a boast. That's the worst thing. What? What was that silence for? That was a dramatic pause. Um, OMM. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to the cozy autumnal vibes. The cozy, let us let us return <laughs> to the previous chapter. On let's this. Not talk about our families. No, let's not. <clears throat> How's your father? It's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, this is his jumper, actually. Uh, I didn't wonder why it smelled like him. I didn't know what my father's going to say. Back to autumn vibes. <clears throat> Back to autumn vibes. Cozy autumn vibes. <laughs> yes. So we have asked you what's your favourite thing about autumn. Mm -hmm. We have figured out what Remy's little... Oh, we've narrowed it down to three. Three competitive options. Sexy nurse, sexy priest, or your mother. Mm -hmm. 
<gasps> you should show them the what oh no you, or do you want to say the little crafts you're going to be making because you you got loads of little crafts i do you? yeah yeah Rem, remus enjoys crafts this time of year. all times of year really <laughs> <laughs> but if i do the cooking video for the pumpkin pasties mm -hmm. we can show the crafts oh yeah show off your craftsmanship mm -hmm. the crafty little man that you are <laughs> do you like knitting don't say that to Pete. This is just Dumbledore. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I've ever seen Pete and Dumbledore talk about their knitting passions. Why not? I, <laughs> I feel like they're missing a trick. Yeah, Pete, why have you never discussed this with Dumbledore mm. about your knitting club? Why has Dumbledore not come to your, your intimate little knitting club that you go to every now and again? That seems a bit... Next time we're at the meeting, we will... Uh, we will... Uh, we'll bring it up and... Yeah. Pete, you and... You and Dumbies can... Dumbies? <laughs> okay. He's not in the club. Well, Pete, he can be. And he's an excellent knitter. He knitted in... He's not our vibe. He knitted me a thong once. Did he? Well, it's a sock, but I wear it as a thong. Oh, right. <laughs> what colour is it? It's um plum colour. Ooh. I don't ever want to see you in that, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pete says we don't knit things like that. What? What, what do you knit? <laughs> what do you knit? Scarves. <laughs> Not socks. But scarves. Dumbledore can knit scarves, I'm sure. I'm sure he's an excellent <laughs> scarfer. Scarf. I don't know what a person is called if they make scarves. A knitter. But does not, not all scarves are made of knitwear. That's very limiting. There has to be just a term for someone who made scarves. This is the most in. I'm glad that there are 370 people watching this riveting discussion. A scarf. <laughs> How is Reggie? <clears throat> He's alive, I, I think. <laughs> I suppose. I don't know if he is. Last time I saw him, he was alive. <laughs> what was the last time you saw him? What? When was the last time you saw him? Uh, a month ago. So his living status may have altered um, in the last month. With his little uh, hobbies that he has. <laughs> Are you going to go and see him before Christmas? No. Before Christmas? No. Why not? No. Why would I? Christmas is my favourite time of the year. Why would I ruin that by seeing my little brother? I don't know. Should I invite him here for Christmas? No. No, I didn't think so. I suppose. But do your family really celebrate Christmas? Celebrate is a very strong term for anything we do in our house. Or did. There's a very strong term. Um, we never, never did the celebratory yeah. sort of stuff. Unless it was celebrating bad things. Then we did that. Then we celebrated... Um... You know who. Yeah. We celebrated things that no rational or reasonable or normal person would ever celebrate. Um... <laughs> do you celebrate at the Lupins? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet your dad's wild when he's on too much eggnog. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mother as well. So are you. It just runs in the looping line, doesn't it? You and your drunk, as many people know, is uh, quite a spectacle. I've never been drunk once in my life. No. Well, it's just that you, I think it's, I love it because you just get too much, uh, you get so much confidence, don't you? Confidence that you don't have in your natural disposition. I have a lot of confidence. Ah! Oh! Anyway, this Christmas <laughs> is going to be amazing. We're going to be celebrating it with Why friends. Why are we talking about family. Christmas in our awesome? Last week, Gerard with Jack and his mum was just like, just skip over autumn and go straight to winter, in fact. Let, us go, <laughs> let me go change the decorations <laughs> and duck the halls, Rima. <laughs> Time to put on some holly. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> Throw the pumpkins out. Make room for the for the piggy pudding. <laughs> and this 
year we decided to just skip right over. <laughs> Give it a miss. You're a nightmare. <laughs> I do have to rewind myself. I do rather like Christmas. Mm -hmm. mm. Terribly much. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the mistletoe. Oh, yeah. Was Is it? Hmm? We don't have that anymore. I'm sure we'll get some if we want some. Not that we need mistletoe as an excuse anymore. <laughs> um, but we should we should make a Halloween tradition of, of mistletoeing. Because there's nothing in Halloween that says give them a snog. But we've got to figure out how to do it. So what would be the mistletoe of Halloween? Halloween. Yeah, what would be the thing of... Like trick or treat, mm. maybe. But instead of trick or treating... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How would we? <sighs> if Sarah is currently single-handing, single-handedly funding yep. Christmas at this rate, uh -huh. absolutely. And trick or snogging? Didn't even mention the gingerbread house. Why the gingerbread house went really well? I'm reliving it. The. the... The gin people will agree here that the gingerbread house went very, very well. The Shrieking Shack gingerbread went very well, didn't it? Yeah? No. Yes. Maybe we should try again. Yes, we should. I'm always up for trying things again with you. Thank you. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> and three and four. <laughs> and then some more. Chris. Uh, uh, uh. Crystal. Uh, crystal. <clears throat> For more mistletoe kissing. Well, we could we, with that much we could buy a whole tr mistletoe tree. tree. Is it all trees they grow? Tree or is it a bush? bush? I feel like this is an educational um how do see this is why we need Frank here, he's very good at herbology. Has Andromeda very well, as far as I'm aware. Doing right things in her life. She's married to the Hufflepuff. Mm -hmm. The liquid badger. I was about to say and you want to liquidize him, so... Well, I, 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 I'm behind Andromeda in a move. I think it's almost like some of us were taking a stand and we're like, we don't need this anymore and just breaking apart. So, how's Boosh? Boosh is very well. The mighty Boosh is thriving. Mm -hmm. he's, he's preparing. For Christmas. Mm -hmm. The mighty Boosh is ready for Christmas. So, mm -hmm. Where do babies come from? Where do mistletoes come from? <laughs> Which, what's, what magical creature brings mistletoe to our door every year, Remus? Gnomes. Oh, I knew it. Oh. oh, now I've got this really endearing image of little gnomes carrying bushels of mistletoe to our doors and dropping it down the chimney. Uh, yeah. Why do you not find that cute? Why are you so sour? <laughs> Why are you so bitter about <laughs> everything in life? And gnomes look like baked potatoes. <laughs> yeah, but them carrying mistletoe, dropping it down the chimney, like. <laughs> It'd rather really bite you. Yeah, but that's what, you know, mistletoe might come with a few bite marks on it. But then they learn because mistletoe is poisonous. So you're not going to consume it. Do you remember that time we filled up the Hufflepuff common room with gnomes? <laughs> yeah, I do. We knew a guy who, who said he could procure us 347 gnomes. Specifically, which is a really bizarre number. But we got discount because when James and I went to do the collection of the gnomes, we will meet this guy. Thinking about it, it looks a bit like Abby with a moustache. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay. When we went to meet Abby to get to, to procure the gnomes, when we got there, we only got three, uh, 203. Um, we were one gnome short. 256. Yeah. That's the one down. Um, and we, we were one gnome short. So we got a banging discount on it as well. Reduced by one gnome. Redu a whole reduction by because of one gnome missing from the 
pack, I want to say you call names, or a herd, or a the Hufflepuffs learned what it was like. A murder of <laughs> names. <laughs> I think, quite honestly, a murder the, the one of the Hufflepuffs did end up with severe head injuries and had covered to, in bite marks and had to leave Hogwarts and go to St. Mungo's, but. But apart from that, it was bloody funny, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Maybe releasing gnomes in the order meetings might spice things up. Should have done it in the um, Slytherin common room, really. Yeah. yeah. Snape with gnomes in his hair. Oh, yeah. So they wouldn't be able to cling to it, though. They'd just slide out. A gaggle of gnomes. I like that. I just, I think that gnomes spice everything up. You can't get spicier than some gnomes. <laughs> when life is dull, spice in some gnomes, and everything is better again. Why? It gives you something to do during the day anyway. They breed like rabbits. Exactly. They're like... mm -hmm. It's great fun. Because what started off as 346 gnomes ended up, I think, closer to the thousand mark by the time they managed to pluck them all out of the Hufflepuff common room. Yeah, the poor House Elves had such a keen up job. But it, was, but it went down in the history books as the Great War of House Elves versus Gnomes. And I we did some good wages wages on who would win in a fight, mm -hmm. house elves or gnomes. I voted for house elves. Well, you won a lot of money that day. Mm -hmm. I took a, a, a diving bet on the gnomes, um, just because of how much they can you know regenerate. Uh, yeah, they're forces. terrifying. Um, they just spin really quickly. But without the magic, true. Um, it's true. If house elves didn't have magic, but make a gnome dizzy and they just can fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> anyway, anyway, we digress. <laughs> well, people always ask in these live chats, they always say, Oh, what's some of the uh, pranks that you've pulled? And I think one the great gnomed catastrophe that was a good one. Well, the, the, the gnome explosion, it was like a volcano of gnomes, you know? They mm -hmm. can't put 10 gnomes in and they quickly become 50. It's really bizarre, they sort of multiply. Mm -hmm. Look at this, it's the moon made of cheese, all of this, like, you know, there's so, we're answering the deep questions tonight. I've never really been on the moon. I cannot say whether or not it is or not. <laughs> I don't think it is. People it would be know. good if it was. <sighs> Can you imagine a block of cheddar, cheddar the size of the moon? What do we have against Hufflepuffs? Nothing. 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 We love Hufflepuffs. We love mm -hmm. more, even more to, to torment Hufflepuffs. Um, more than anything, really. They take it in good nature, though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Slytherins will always try to get their own back, and it will just become all at war. Mm -hmm. Ravenclaws will successfully get their own back. And they're so scary. And they're I... terrifying. I would never want to pull a prank on a Ravenclaw. Never, never cross a Ravenclaw. Mm hmm. Never do it. Because the thing is, is about a Ravenclaw is they don't gut react. Mm, they wait. And they just go, no, it's fine. Anyway, a decade passes. Because mm -hmm. I remember I committed a crime against there was that one Ravenclaw. Frederick Elsinore, that was his name. Freddie El Elsinore. I committed a crime against him in first year. Can't even remember what. Yeah, I can't even remember what. But clearly, Freddie remembers because give it a decade. What's he doing now? Getting revenge on me. Is he the one that keeps sending me all that post? Yeah, he's the one who dismantled my motorbike three times. I think. Must be. But I can't catch him because he's a Raymond Claw. So too smart. <sighs> too clever. They wait. They wait. They do wait. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've got nothing nothing against uh, Hufflepuffs. No, they're just sort of the easiest. Mm -hmm. Less risky. Hufflepuffs, Gryffindors, Slytherins, Ravenclaws. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the the big question we've already asked was uh, was uh, what what should we already jumped in? We got excited and caught up in the melee uh, maelstrom <laughs> of, of of excitement and thrills and chills, and uh, it was a uh, what. Hi! Oh, you made direct eye contact. You're talking of thrills and chills. Um, hi. hi. Mm. And uh, it was... God, you're so gorgeous! <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was going to be what What should... What should um, I just have a smile. The Moonmeister. <laughs> moon dude. <laughs> the, the moon, moon dude. The moon man. 
<laughs> the Luna lad. Right, okay. We can still move that. <laughs> what should he, Hulk Priestley, what should he be dressing up as? Um, and now yeah. we know. That, well, well yeah, we've narrowed it down to hot nurse, sexy priest, or your mother. <laughs> so, And you will find out on a video which will be released on, if I can use any sort of technology, which I can't, which I can't, sorry for the earthquake. It will be released on... <gasps> 30th October. The 30th of October. <sighs> I tried a word. <laughs> 30th of October. 30th of October, we will be releasing the video which will reveal... Would I decide to go as whether or not it's sexy nurse, no, hot nurse, sexy, sexy priest, priest, your mother, or Burger Black. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sexy nurse while boga. Well, boga. <laughs> she doesn't deserve to have her name said correctly. Thank you. Hmm. Not, but not mother. Absolutely not. Well, it is one of the scariest things apart from my cousin. Bellatrix. Do not. Should I come with Bellatrix? Do not speak. Don't. Say, if you say it a third time, she'll arrive. <laughs> Don't say it. She'll just materialise. Don't say it. Unless you wanted to loom at the bottom of the bed tonight. She has done that before. She has. Mm -hmm. Bellatrix, if you're watching, please get a hobby. <laughs> yeah, please get a hobby. If, uh... Remus, how do you feel about the motorbike, Arsenal? Well, it's finally just... What? It's just... I'm just grateful that you finally got a motorbike after consistently dressing like you own one but not having one. <laughs> it was actually quite sad. So I feel like it's finally finished. Your image, is, it's complete. It was, I was just waiting for it. Mm. You needed it. Like a Quidditch player without a broom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. James without his glasses. Oh God, could you imagine? Peter without his bread. You without the... You. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that you needed to complete yourself was your motorbike. And now I'm complete. Where do I go from here? I've reached my peak. I'm at my zenith. Mm. I'm at my top of my game, top of my class. But I am never getting in it with you. Why won't you please encourage him to get on the motorbike with me? Please encourage him to get on my motorbike. You can get on the bike. I don't want to die. Because then you, you won't die. James has been on it plenty of times. And, he can, and he's you, never come out quite you the same. You get behind. No. And you put your, no. put your arms around me, Remus. And you behind like that. <laughs> and I'll get you a little safety helmet to keep you safe. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that sweet, do mm. right? mm. No, but... but <laughs> James is so discombobulated after he gets off it. I mean, he was like that to begin with, so nothing's really changed or shifted. No, it has, I think. He's a bit more rattled, I think. I mean, that's being a father. That's parenthood that's done that. Not my what about you? What about me? You've been a little bit more rattled. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Just a little bit. But what's wrong with that? That might just be the black family curse rattling me a little it's bit. true. You can't. Blame bad blood on a motorbike. <laughs> oh, what? Nothing. What is so funny? It's just you. You're funny. That's good. At least I'll make you laugh. I've got to do something, right? <laughs> Sexy priest on a motorbike for Halloween? I think so. I think so. Sexy priests on bike for Halloween. <laughs> We've been doing this nonsense for almost an hour. We have. And we have not dropped below 300 autumn rascals. And mm. I'm finding that perplexing. Um, Quite honestly. Yes, bizarre. <laughs> I'm going to get more coffee. You entertain the rascals. No, I can't do that. Well, I'm going to use the bathroom now. What? Okay, so I'm just going across it. Oh, you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. 
It's going across your lap. Sorry. Are we back? You can do this. I believe in you. You just told me that you have confidence and you're strong in your confidence. So you I don't remember this. saying that. You did? No, I don't remember saying I'm that. Video. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, does anyone else have their Halloween costumes planned? And if they do, what are they going to go as? Me. Just run into the toilet, looks. Run into the little puppy <laughs> Sheet ghost. You know, I quite like a sheet ghost actually. A hobbit. Going as a disappointment. Ooh. You're going as a regulus. Okay. Very good. Rainbow makeup. I don't enjoy being left by myself, actually. <laughs> a traffic cone. I really do enjoy the idea of a traffic cone, actually. Velma from Scooby Doo. Ah, oh, yes, do. Gay pirate, do. Abby will be going to bed, which just sounds like a lie, completely. Of course I'm invited to the tea party, Peter. I don't think James is, though. <laughs> I like the idea of a vampire, but I'm a little bit stuck between the hot nurse, sexy priest and more burger black, so I might have to do sort of write them all down and draw them from a hat to pick. That's what I'm saying. Unless anyone else has any ideas. Otherwise. I should do a poll on the costumes. The man, sexy priest, corn, <laughs> vampire wall burger, make her even scarier. Oh, that might be quite a good idea. <laughs> a princess book. Have yourself a merry little <laughs> autumn. <Yeah. laughs> Obviously, I made these myself. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't buy them. No. Do you know who did make them? Peter. Gilderoy. Gilderoy Lord can't make these. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it does say Gilderoy's toffee apple on it. Yeah. I know, he's quite a whiz apparently. Yeah, he's good at everything. Yeah. So, his, uh, I'll do a little... Oh. <laughs> I've got to try and open it. Welcome to my ASMR. Oh, don't, I hate it. <laughs> or Tom and Noy ASMR trick. No. Here I am, I'm dropping a toffee apple. <laughs> that makes me so uncomfortable. Ah! Ah! Ow. <laughs> How does anyone find that relaxing? I do. <gasps> oh god, oh no! Oh yeah, hundreds and thousands. That's a chocolate apple. Did you want the chocolate one? You sure? Mm -hmm. Speak now or forever hold you. I actually like the toffee apple more. Oh, okay, you sure? Mm -hmm. Uh, I was always even with a little stalky on still. I always get confused on how to attack these things because it's sort of like. I think you just sort of bite it like an apple. <laughs> well, you look like you're deep throwing it there. Oh! I've got a green one. Got a green one? Mm hmm. I actually don't eat green. I'll eat green. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Well, Sirius hasn't actually revealed his costume to anyone but me. No. Mm-mm. 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 Mm. Good. 
Mmm, Gilderoy makes a banging chocolate apple. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I feel almost like I'm getting my vitamins in at the same time. You are. I know. But the it's disguised as a treat. Just like when you give a dog medicine, you have to hide it in good, in, in tasty stuff. This is how you get me to eat <laughs> treats. Uh, it keeps good stuff. The hundreds of thousands are just flaking off. <laughs> Amazing all the good stuff. Mm. I need to take them off and snort them. Ah! Oh. They're <laughs> caught a single one. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Now I've got 998. <laughs> Just like the amount of gnomes that I want to have. <laughs> After you lost most of them in that half back gum room. Serious use a plate challenge. Bugger off, Abby! <laughs> Your plates are as bad as him. I've trying never, to civilise me. I've never seen him use a plate. That's what hands are for. I have a knife and fork that I stole from home. Mm. And a spoon. Do you? Mm -hmm. I have solid silver cutlery, which I stole from the Black House family. It's not a stainless steel. And a curtain tie, singular. It's silver, Remus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? That is a tasty apple. <laughs> Now I'm starting a trend. I feel like I'm, I'm doing advertising. I like this since I ate the apple. Mm -hmm. Our view count has gone down by about 30 people. <laughs> 30 people are like, I did not come here. Look at it drop. It's going to drop into 300. People are like, I did not come here to watch Sirius Black consume an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really commenting on it as well. I, I'm actually... I'm <laughs> dropping on it. <laughs> Let me put the apple down. We're losing... <laughs> well, no, no. The top of the actor's apple is actively losing. <laughs> A board, a board. Oh no. Ah! We're below 300 for the first time. Since the arrival of the Dobby Apple, I'll go back to sipping out pumpkin then. It's all good. I, I enjoy that. It's a little bit less stressful, actually. Thank you, Ray. I did come here to watch Sirius Black eat an apple. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely came here. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Sirius Black. <laughs> I saw him consume an apple once. <laughs> That was enough for me. And it was a green apple as well. It wasn't even a pink lady. <laughs> Who eats green apples? It's sure serious it's black. <laughs> Seriously, you're <dropping. laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> this is where I go on and uh, the subscribers have halved. <laughs> Cancel culture comes for me. Just for eating an apple, how dare you be healthy? Oh, God, it could also be because we're like, over oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I've stopped the apple, it's going back up. <laughs> Merlin's beard. I <laughs> it could also be my completely unriveting conversation whilst you were away. No, I'm sure it was riveting. I would stick around for that. You could say anything <laughs> and I would listen to it. Because you're perfect. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you are. You are. You are. Oh no, are you doubting? Oh no. <laughs> we have, we have officially been together for quite some time now. Some time. I say officially, I mean like not many people know because obviously um, <clears throat> it's still kind of difficult to, to be openly homosexual in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But that's a topic for another day, um, <laughs> which you, which we will cover, and I'm sure we will, uh, about how difficult it can be, because uh, we've had a couple of people that we, we've have sort of cottoned on and asked us, and they haven't been, well, they haven't been approving, but they haven't exactly been, uh, they haven't been disapproving, they haven't exactly been approving either. Mm -hmm. um, I sort of wish to not discuss. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not expecting everyone to bring out a parade for us, but I'm mm. expecting some people to at least be happy for us, and not everyone has been. Um, so that might be a, a video for a serious, serious stuff video um, to talk about us and um, how difficult it can be. 
some people consistently refer to you as friends. friends. Just friends. Good friends. What good friends you are. <laughs> yep. That's us. Mm -hmm. Great friends too. Good friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good friends. Just guys being dudes, exactly. Boy space friends. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it would be quite interesting to do a video on that, especially like this time of year, doing cozy talks about mm -hmm. change, basically. With Autumn mm -hmm. leading them up to change. Yeah, I think some people might appreciate that video, uh, mm -hmm. that topic being covered, and why it's not a problem at all, in the slightest. No. However you identify, however you wish to be, however you wish to live your life for the sake of happiness, you know? Pete has just cottoned on to oh. um, our <laughs> status. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> ah, Pete. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and to, like I said, to to prep for those mm -hmm. fun family dinners uh, when you want to invite partners. So, not that not that you would uh, be invited to. Do you think? What do you think? Your parents would uh, say? I actually don't know. <laughs> would you think I might be invited to your house to dinner? Well, they, they would as, invite you. As that though. As partners, as boyfriends, as lovers. <laughs> Obviously, I won't come in to go, uh, Mr. Lupin, Merry Christmas. I'm Mr. Lupin's, I'm Remus's lover. <laughs> that might not win us house points. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Mm. Right. We'll figure it out. We always do. Mm. Everything is figure outable when we're together. It is. Everything. It is. Well, figure it out. Figure it out. No stress. My love for you is never in doubt. It's a little place in England. And we'll figure it out. <laughs> mm. uh, exactly. Men kissing men. There's nothing queer about that. It's just simply a... You kiss James all the time. We deep kiss James all the time. You do. Yeah, I do. I've never kissed James. Oh, you're missing out. Mm. <laughs> Not what Lily says. What? Did I not say that inside? <laughs> no, you did not. That was very much a, a monologue outside. Good night, Issa. Is it? Thank you, Isa, so, so, so very, very much. Good night, sleep well. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Um, we, will, we will be here again at one point to chat again. And to Crystal, Remus's parents probably already know if I still love you well. In all truth, your mother is a pretty savvy woman and she probably does know, actually. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you go. You go. You go. Use the little bathroom. I want uh, to eat the apple. Can you see apple? Good luck. Well, we're back up to three hundred and fifty viewers now, so I figured we might as well just sort of knock a few off here, so uh, so that it's not taking up so much bandwidth. Um, <laughs> hello, welcome to the serious show. Get ready with a wild ride of your life. Mm, 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 mm. Hey. Hmm. Oh, James. Hello. La Give me a moment, lad. Mm, mm. No, don't put James in time out. Ah, there we go. We have James amongst us now. The wonderful deep kisser that he is. His regulars, okay. Uh, as I said earlier, I went to see him about a month ago. He's living status may have altered over the last 31 days. I don't know, really. Um, not over, overly fast. Um, will the Marauders get back together soon? Hopefully. Hopefully very, very soon. Uh, the four of us were reunited for a little while, a little bit ago, but we got so caught up in um, chatting to each other and, and reminiscing and, and 
doing all sorts of nonsense with each other that we uh, we didn't get time to commit any of it to film, which was uh, sad. Um, but yes, hopefully, end of October, we will be back together. Fingers crossed, which would be which would be nice. Would we would we ever adopt a pet? I would adopt as I would adopt as many gnomes as I possibly could, hoard. Um, I would fill this house with gnomes. I think they're endearing little creatures. Yeah. Talk about gnomes. I know. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> you would adopt as many gnomes as you possibly could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James is here. I know. Is, is How do you know? He's been here for ages. Oh, I didn't do um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I elevated him to godlike status, which he deserves. I can't believe he wasn't already. But... Mm. Mm. I'd worship James if he was a deity. You already do worship him like he is a deity. I know, but I'd probably make human sacrifices to him if he was an actual deity. Please don't give him ideas. The cult of James Potter. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's basically us. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are his cult. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're his we're his devoted followers through and through. <gasps> Pete should knit jumpers for the gnomes because then you can identify them. He can knit their names onto them. They don't have names. No, but they don't yet, but they will when we give them names. <laughs> what is the first name you would give a gnome? Go! Name gnomes! Gnome names! <laughs> name them gnomes! We need at least a thousand. <laughs> Sirius is on something. Thank you. I need that. It's not very often I hear those words. Lewis, Jasper, Potato. No, me. Jerry, Simon, Jesus, Nigel. Jesus. James, Sam, James Jr. Snivellus, Grumpy. James and James Jr. <laughs> Bob, Terry, Casper, Bartholomew, Hazel, Freddy, Peter, Lyra, Gus, Henry, Ted, Ted, Salem, Louis, Salem, Gucci, Ray, Gallup, Philip. Michael, Jeff, Parsi the terrifying, Gelato, <laughs> Gelato, <laughs> Harbert, Waffle, Bowie, Blue, Bait Terry, Hogan, Gerald, <laughs> Millie, Leo, Reggie, Butcher, Teddy, <laughs> <laughs> Lily, Dave, Fish, Fish, Pie, Knox, Milk, Chicken, Star, <laughs> Bean, I, Issa, Issa, <laughs> Alexander, Thor, Harold, Donut, Boot, The Great Beast, Edward, <laughs> Aragon, Dobby, Corn. <laughs> Water. Great Thanks, Pete. Satan. <laughs> Mailbox. <laughs> Freddy. Freddy is very common. It's going to be Freddy 1, 2, 3, 4, no. 5. No, don't. That bloody Ravenclaw Freddy. Mm. <laughs> Julius. Mm. Bellatrix. Mm. Vincent. Bread. Mm. Toby. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Millie. Harry. Theodosia. Bob. Mm. Marco. Newt. Dumbles. Boo. Boo. Apple. Ivy. Berry. And Alan, host. <laughs> Alan! <laughs> <laughs> the great this one is great beat, the great beast, and this is Alan. <laughs> Apple, Muffin. <laughs> Percival. Robin. Ophelia. Patricia. Chantel. Chantel. Yellow bread. Donkey. Muffin. James. Aberforth. Giant. Name. Leo. Nobody. Imposter. Or <laughs> Burger. Dwayne. Dwayne, the gnome. Nora, Michaela. Dwayne, the gnome Johnson. Rose. <laughs> Yolanda. Shrek. <laughs> Lucifer. Apples. <laughs> Gilbert. Chili. Michaela. <laughs> Cooper. We need at least three Michaelas. <laughs> Chucky. Beetlejuice. Winsley's. <laughs> Cheese. Duke. Flattle Waggle. <laughs> <laughs> Derek. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> the great beast and Derek <laughs> Chantel, Derek Dave, Dave. <laughs> Frank 
There'll be our little gnome minions. Jake, I think we must have had like, so many names here already. Little gnome minions, Kevin. Bill. <laughs> I think we we might be nearing a thousand, Boris. which is good. Jaffa. Cow, I just saw cow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Jojo, Minerva, Corn. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> Steven. Steven, yep, good name. Jim, Barry. Gertrude. Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Brian. Brian. Diamond. <laughs> Ooh. Diamond has to be a special one. Gary. Marcel. Boris Johnson. Olive. Shelley. Jeff. Tiddly Wicks. <laughs> Gay. Reginald. <laughs> Aries. Pumpkin. Dino. Blueberry. W Lord, Lord Wigglesworth. <laughs> Persephone. Taylor Swift. Elizabeth. Barbara. Klaus. Boris, Phoebe, <laughs> Zeus, Zeus, Lizzie, Bibble, <laughs> Umbridge, Oklahoma, oh, this Banana. Anyone coming on to this live stream is just like, why is this live stream just Remus and Sirius read out words? <laughs> okay, we still okay. Okay, we're Oklahoma. good. Okay, I think we've Bread. got a thousand. We've Oscar, got a thousand. Dave, no, no. Bubbles. <laughs> we've got a thousand. There's only a new we one. We have a Triangle. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II. Burnt toast, Emily. <laughs> Dingle Wingle. Potato. Sirius's beard. Dinkle Winkle. <laughs> we have a thousand. Right, Pete. I hope you wrote them all down. <laughs> I think you can write that quickly, actually. Pete, you better have gotten all of those down. Zebra. And I expect all of those knitted onto tiny gnome sized jumpers, mm -hmm. snug enough to keep them warm, but loose enough that they can still cause mischief. Mm -hmm. There has to be enough mischief wiggle room in there for them to go a little bit wild. Has to be nibble proof as well. So, uh, and also you will be in charge of putting them on the gnomes. Obviously. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. We need gnomes, they we need the guy. Them. We need Abby and a moustache to deal us more gnomes and give us a price. We only want about sort of 250 because by the end of the month there will be a thousand. Well, let's haggle here. Abby, how much for a hundred gnomes? Noble. We know how fast they produce. Sure we, we produce. So, um, Abby says it depends how much gin we have. No, we don't. We well, don't. We're, I've got other gnome dealers, Abby, that I can go to. It's true. We so, can buy gin mm -hmm. or give money for gin. So, so, if you're not willing to haggle on this, Abby, we're willing to go to other gnome dealers. We have the crystal knows a guy. Crystal knows a guy. Crystal knows a guy. Crystal converts in contact. So, mm -hmm. wine. See, we're haggling down from gin here to wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't have no wine. Deal or no deal? <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks, James. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start that as a show <laughs> on this channel. Deal or no deal? <laughs> <laughs> with Pete as the host mm -hmm. and uh, and in uh, with <laughs> no one <laughs> I may have wet myself a little bit <laughs> this whole live stream has derailed horrendously <laughs> I like it as well because it's like instead of instead of galleons for the amount you get because obviously they've got the boxes on on deal or no deal with like fifty five whatever or, or or like you pick a box and you you, you no, lift it up I've never and seen it. it's like you get mystery boxes and and you pick a box so mm. I go Remus I'll have your box and they open it up and it says like a hundred galleons but instead it'll be a hundred gnomes and you decide if because you the the thing you're aiming for is a million gnomes uh, <laughs> I I never want a million gnomes. No, we'd need a way. <laughs> we'd need me need, need a million names for a million names. I think we've got a million to be fair. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we do. Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> well, I'm exhausted. Yeah, my stress level is just <laughs> gone. Well, have you thought of a million names? Yeah, it really has. No more. Thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. And the gnomes are in the box. It's not written. Uh, 
best party stress club. <laughs> Just saying, about 250,000 gnomes <laughs> vomit out of the pot. I've got to be honest, I'd watch that show. It sounds cracking. <laughs> sounds like horror. <laughs> it would have to be after water shed. Yeah. After the watershed. Oh, James, how dare you? Harry, Harry is equivalent to 100 gnomes. <laughs> so if we trade Harry, we could get 100 gnomes. James, are you willing to trade <laughs> Harry for 100 gnomes? Thank you, Lady Kayla. I, uh, yeah. Thank you, Lady Kayla. It's going to sort of break the tip of the iceberg, really. Yeah, thank you. We'll make sure <laughs> that, that Remus gets some good shocky to deal with his stress. Thank yeah, you. I can feel it <laughs> behind my eyes right now. That's just the excitement for the gnomes. That's is this what excitement feels like? It is often confused with fear and stress, but it's actually sheer excitement. Disagree. No. Completely. 2,000 <laughs> and counting. Thanks, Zimji. Thanks, Zimji. Or Zimji. 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 Yeah, thanks, Zimji. This is going to be... Abby, what can we get? How many gnomes can go up for four ninety nine? Give us a ballpark figure on this, <laughs> will you? <laughs> I'm really stressed. 69, I'll take it. 499 for 69. Throw gnomes at the Death Eaters! To be fair. <sighs> if you're saying earlier on, if we do rewind to previous chapters, if you're saying that my spell casting is so inadequate compared to other members, like Frank Longbottom, mm. then I can just chuck gnomes at them. I'll get a little catapult that I can fling them at. A little backpack, like a quiver, that I can keep my gnomes stuffed inside. And a little slingshot that I can then take the little sweet potatoes out. And go, go, Alan, go! <laughs> Derek, make me proud! <laughs> and they launch teeth first. They do. <laughs> right? Little potatoes. Little slingshot, little gnome slingshot and a quiver full. They're vicious. <laughs> like a grenade. Like a, a gnome grenade, yeah, exactly. Just a grenade full of teeth. Yeah, I'd catch a grenade for you, but I'd never catch a gnome for you. <laughs> I would do anything for a love, but I won't do that. I no, gnomes. gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stressing. These leathers are getting hot. Give me a second. The fire is completely burnt. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, and then I'm going to do this after the war as a business plan, and I'm going to make us enough money to buy us a whole house. A, whole house. a little cottage by the sea, just you and me. It's very good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I excel at poetry. <laughs> just like James excels at poetry. I... <laughs> Yes, she does, yeah. Sexy gnome. Oh, a sexy gnome. Come as a sexy gnome. Take a lot of creativity. Please get me a slingshot and a quiver for Christmas so I can start this plan. I can't stop thinking about it. She literally <laughs> thought about it five seconds ago. And I can't stop. I'm going to be waking up tonight as we're in bed like, hey, <laughs> you thinking about gnomes too? No. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Lifelong dream of five minutes, you see. How dare you crush my lifelong dream, which I came up with just now. <laughs> what, what, Amber Jade? Feeling so well, uh, and I'm gonna have to hop off. Ah, oh, but thank you. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Amber. You have bought us another 69 gnomes. <laughs> and Kayla has bought us another 69 gnomes. <laughs> I need to do some quick math calculations. I need to quick use your device. Make some calculations for me. 69 times three. Two hundred and seven gnomes so far. Fantastic. Thank you. I'm, I need a bigger quiver now. You need at least three quivers. I'm going to be the Rambo of the gnome world, and I'm very <laughs> excited. <laughs> Why? 
Fred, why are you shitting on my dreams? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I just sighed. That's all. That's all I did. Sighing is the same as shitting. No, it's not. It's just it's coming out the you. mouth instead of the other end. <laughs> You can have 207 names in the quiver. Quiver full of names. Quiver full of names. Serious black quiver full of names. Slingshotting those names. Death Eaters will know it's coming. To be fair, they do bite <laughs> viciously and they do not let go. It's true. Once they're on, they're on, lads. You have to pour salt on them to get them off. You do. I'll have a pouch full of salt just in it case. It shrivels up and burns them. Mm -hmm. You see? Subscribe for more gnome content. <laughs> More like no more content. I think we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> I think we've been talking about gnomes for a good sort of half an hour at this point. As we rightfully should. Mm. They they deserve their whole own live stream. And at one point we will do a live stream where it is just gnome based content. We'll contact Newt's commander and make him do a whole live stream on gnomes. Yes, we will. <laughs> Guest starring Newt Scamander. Mm -hmm. To tell us all the finer details, and by then I should have a quiver and slingshot. Ready to Won't I? You will. I'm sure. I'm not buying it for you, but I just asked you for Me? Christmas things. I thought you asked Santa. I last stumbled with him. Yeah. Oh, you're touching my little leggy. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it when you make physical contact with me. It means you're not done with me. <laughs> it means you haven't reached your limits yet. <laughs> and boy, howdy, do I push those boundaries. <laughs> you do sometimes. Oh. Oh. I'm going to talk about gnomes for a good sort of hour and a half now. Well, I'm just coming off that high and I'm still, I'm still fixated. <laughs> Sexual. <laughs> really? Mm. Will we ever have a regular live stream? Mm. I wonder if I can drag my brother into a live stream. I don't know why I'm looking at you, but <laughs> like you might. Why would you want to? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, where is this cursed image? <laughs> How do you work at such an industrial speed? That's what I want. She really does. I, I'm where have you owled this to? <laughs> <laughs> Owl it. Where has this been owled to? Owl it. Oh, oh, oh no. Everyone click the link here. We Maybe I should be Nor Medlands. Look at the look at the shirt. It's quite a sassy shirt. It's Paisley. It is. I think. A Robin. Mm. Paisley. Yeah, Paisley. Sassy. Yeah. I need that shirt really. Abby, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think on that note. <laughs> on the deal or no, no deal. deal. <laughs> <laughs> we like to always end it on a classy note. These live streams. Mm -hmm. um, and today is deal on name deal, so. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, uh... well, what's my next tattoo? Well, obviously it's going to be gnomes now. I'm going to have gnomes climbing up my arms. Terrifying. <laughs> Why? They are scary. I know. They do bite. You have to make them really dizzy. I love them. Yeah, you do. Well, I, I. <laughs> itchy there. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the gnomes. I'm getting itchy. <laughs> Well, I think, should we, uh, should we go and find out if you're going to be a nurse, a priest, or my mother? Because you've mm. got some ordering to do. Yeah, I've got to prep for the Halloween costume. Which will be going up on the, the 30th. Mm -hmm. The 30th. And uh, Pete, we will see you in a week. Yes, see mm -hmm. you next week, Pete. And our dear friends from Ilva Morning will be seeing you in a week mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. I'm going to be seeing James in a month. Yes. So wicked. And we'll be seeing all of you in the next video. <laughs>
And so we hope we hope that you've had some giggles with us. We hope that we've got you in the mood I, I for autumn. I don't think we have. I think we we started off really strong with showing the pumpkins. And then we derailed as usual, and I expected really nothing else from us, really. We so, barely even talked about autumn. <laughs> so, so it has been a lovely. Time. <laughs> This has certainly been an hour and a half of your time that you've dedicated to this. Thanks for wasting your time. <laughs> no, it's a wonderful embellished time. It's wonderful spent time. Mm -hmm. And and it's been an absolute it's been an absolute not a trick but a treat to be with you. And mm -hmm. we hope you're excited about the content to come for spoopy spectacular season, which we will be releasing soon. And we have uh, a video of pure crack. Uh, that will be coming your way soon as well. Once I decide whether or not I'm going to be a hot nurse or a sexy priest or your mother mm -hmm. as a vampire, potentially. Mm -hmm. So, of course, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for all the laughs. Thank you for the wonderful names. <laughs> thank you for taking part and just being amazing and magical and perfect and mischievous, you autumn rascals. Um, so, until next time. Um, Stay magical. I've been Sirius Black. Oh God. <laughs> I've been Marie Miss Leaping. And we will see you in the next video. Stay, <laughs> Stay magical. Bye bye. S sweet gnomes. Gnome, sweet gnome. No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>